No matter how our lives will be I'll tell you, I won't tell you to leave Yeah, I'll keep on standing here I'm hopeful, so hopeful, dear Yeah, it's true I'm falling Yeah, it's true I'm falling for you Yeah, it's true I gotta believe in this dream I don't know how I Welcome to my vlog. If this is your first time here, hi, my name is Onye. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome back to my channel. So I'm starting this vlog on my way to the salon. I'm going to take out this cornrows, wash my hair, and then make a new hair. This is the hair I want to braid. And I really hope this won't do me jaga jaga hair because this is the first time I'll be using this particular salon. The salon I used to go to before and suddenly stay overcharging me. Like she charges me double of the amount she charges other people. But she knows I don't like bargaining with her. So when I noticed that she has been charging me double the amount, I confronted her and she was like, it's because of Corona, this one, that one. But then other people that make the same kind of hair that I make she charges them a different amount so the last time I went there I told her I wasn't going to come back and that's exactly what I'm doing You pick the time I'll pick the place Cause baby I know that you're the one If you got the will I got the way Till your heart is warm And now I can feel the tension building But it'll be alright If you and I could simply try tonight Tonight We've come too far to throw away All the memories that we have made You and I were meant to be So braids, when I do braids, it stays for like one week before it stops spinning me. But either way, and this is my first time ever of making short braids. It's always long, like you either go long or go home. That has been my motto. But the weather has been really very hot. And I know if I make long braids, I'm going to lose it the next day. Because I don't know how to endure pain, you guys. I don't know how to endure pain. So tell me what you think about my hair in the comment section. And I bought this hair as a and I bought this hair accessory to highlight the hair. I love to add stuff like this on my hair whenever I braid, like I just to scatter its hair and there. I just like the bling bling of my hair. So this is I'm going to open it now and start putting it on my hair. I also bought these nails. It's so pretty, like there are two colours. See the nails. Immediately I saw it, I was like, oh my god, oh my god, because I always buy those normal plain ones, like just one color. But immediately I saw this one, I was like, ooh, I have to buy one. I didn't plan to buy it, but I bought it anyway. So I'm going to be fixing it whenever I have time. But right now, I'm going to start putting on this one on my hair. So as I told you guys earlier, this is the first time this woman is making my hair 
Aside the fact that the girl that washed my hair is like she came to work with violence today. Like the way she was dragging me and oh god, it was. I had to tell her to please. She should take it easy. It's not me that like I'm not the one that got her angry. I don't know why she's angry, but it's not my fault that she's angry. So she should not take it out on me. But. But aside that, the lady that made my hair, she was really, really good. Like, and the most important is that she was, she did not waste time. Like, this hair literally took just, let's just say one hour, 30 minutes. Like, it wasn't that, compared to other times when I go to make my hair. I think it's better this time. Look at it in here. You guys, they could have gone. I would have just told them to put me this thing in the sand, you know. I want to carry it and come home now. I don't know how to put it on my hair. Am I supposed to open it? <coughs> I figured out I have to roll it up to my hair because I didn't even write how to put it. Like, there's no instruction on the packet, and I've never used this type before. The one I used to use is that other one that you need to you just open and pin it to your hair. So, but I just wanted something different and. So I'm about to start making a bacha and it's currently raining since yesterday it has been doing like as if it's rain or as if it's not rain But today this evening finally it decided to rain so you'll be hearing all this rain sound Please bear with me These are my ingredients and here I have smoked titus fish this is their bacha is dried now before i use it i'll have to soak it with water whether hot or cold water but i'll be using cold water instead because i'm not really a fan of hot water abacha then this is uziza leaf the last time i showed you guys uziza leaf I had, I had already sliced it so this is the uziza leaf i'm still going to slice it once it's once i'm ready then this is potash in Igbo we call it account I'm going to add water to this and then sieve out the water because it's the potash water that I need for the abacha, not the potash itself because sometimes the potash contains sand so you can use it like that. Then this is salt of course and then I'm using black pepper. I'm using dry black pepper because that's the taste I want to achieve with this. Then right here I have my palm oil. Then I have my ehuru and my no cube. So this is basically what I'll be using for this recipe. So no matter how our lives will be, I'll tell you I won't tell you to leave. Yeah, I'll keep on standing here. I'm hopeful, so hopeful, dear. Yeah, it's true. I'm falling, yeah it's true, I'm falling for you, yeah it's true, I gotta believe in this dream, I don't know how I became him, we found ourselves not by ourselves, it's been ten years and still not there, we'll end the days, we've won the race, we'll have our kids that we will raise and y'all will be here with me 